Hello Hendrickson, it's Mr Gear for your next topic lesson today. We are going to be looking at this painting once again, The Flatford Mill by John Constable. Now there was something that I noticed when we were looking at it yesterday, and that is that all the people in it are different sizes. We've got the boy on the horse here, and then this one here, and then I don't know if you can see, but there are actually two men working on the path just there. Can you see them? They are here, working on the path. But, and there's also a man over there. He's really, really small. And that got me thinking, do you think that this boy here is really, really tall compared to this man here? No, he's not, is he? But this is called perspective perspective so what that means is if something is closer to you it looks bigger and the further away it goes the smaller it gets you can do it with your hand just like this ready put your hand right up against your face and your hand feels huge doesn't it you can't see past it and then the further away it goes the smaller your hand appears doesn't it now I've had a little bit of a play with this to see what I can make. Have a watch of this. So, to help with perspective, I have brought along this teeny tiny tree. Can you see it? There it is. What do you mean that's not a teeny tiny tree? Do I need to get closer to it? Okay, let's see this teeny tiny tree in action. Hold on there a second. Well, it turns out that that tree wasn't teeny tiny at all. From where I was standing all the way over there, I thought I could hold it in my fingers. But would you like to see how big it actually is? There it is. Look how big that is. Now I'm seeing just how big it actually is because I'm nice and close. The further away I go, the smaller it's going to look. Now, I've been having a little bit of fun with a baby doll as well. Have a look at this. To help us learn about perspective, I have brought a baby with me. <gasps> ah, a giant baby! Wait a minute, that's not a giant baby. It's just a small baby. But because she was closer to you, she looked a lot bigger. Right, let's go back inside back inside. I hope those videos helped you understand a little bit about perspective and why this house here looks really small compared to these boys who look a lot bigger and that's because the boys in the picture here are a lot closer than the house at the back. So here are your challenges for today. Number one, can you find something taller than you and walk away from it and see if you notice the size of it changing or from what you see the size of it changing. Number two, can you find a spot where that item then looks smaller or shorter than you? And then can you explain why it seems this way? And number three is, can you use this knowledge of perspective to draw a quick picture of on your walk? Now I'm going to show you what that might look like. So I'll get rid of this. And then on my walk, I saw a hill. Okay. I saw a hill, so I'm going to draw the hill like that. There we go. Now, at the bottom of the hill, where I was standing, there were lots of flowers. Lots of flowers. And at the top of the hill, I could see a person waving. Now, because the flowers were a lot closer to me, are they going to be bigger or smaller, do you think? You're right. They're going to be a lot bigger, aren't they? So, here's my flower. My flower's nice and big because it's really close. But this man at the top of the hill, he was really far away. So he's going to be quite small. But he was waving. There we go. Let's get that over here. So, even though in this picture the person's really small and the flower is really big, that is not 
the actual case, is it? The flower wasn't bigger than the person, but because the flower was a lot closer to me than the person, the flower needs to be bigger. So that's what I would like you to do today. Have a look at what happened on your walk. Maybe something you saw that was really close and draw it big. And then have a look at something really far away. And then you need to draw it small. And don't forget to put all of this up on Tapestry. And parents, please let us know how you found this activity. I look forward to seeing it there. Bye!